Hello, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone in this amazing world. We're back with the international discussions dedicated to the most amazing event that happened just recently, last month, which, which is called Global Crisis. There is a way out. This was a huge international forum that was interpreted simultaneously into 150 languages by volunteers from all over the world. And the topics that were addressed during this forum were so pressing and so important, I would say vitally important for all of humanity today. So today we'll, we're going to be discussing the most important and interesting information that um, our wonderful guests were uh, impressed by. And also we're going to talk about our not such distant future. We're going to talk about interesting things that happen uh, already now by, you know, uniting people from all over the world. Interesting um, things that can happen in the future. I mean, in terms of economy, in terms of self-governing society, and in terms of our technology that we already possess and we can improve for the betterment of all humanity. My name is Kate and today my co-host is Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. So uh, yes, indeed, a very nice discussion ahead of us. But for this, we need guests. And we have two today that have uh, joining us on this international discussion. So let me introduce them uh, for a start. We will start with uh, Elijah from Nigeria, who is a physics teacher and also a participant of the Creative Society project. And he has been helping with the translation in his local language from Nigeria. So. Thank you very much for being with us today. So much, I really appreciate you. Great. Our second guest with us, Para, who is from Sri Lanka, and he's also an active participant of the Creative Society from the UA team, and he's uh, also helping with translation. So thank you very much and welcome. Thank you very much. Great. So thank you for both of you to be to be here with us. And as this introduction highlighted, you've been uh, helping uh, the entire project uh, translating uh, for the forum. Uh, so there is a, a lot that you can really say about either the preparation, about the content uh, of this forum. And that's what I would like to start with, because this forum has been providing a lot of information. And I wanted to know what is the maybe one thing, if you can sum up into one thing that really touched you, uh, maybe your personal experience uh, brought you to really having one piece of information that really uh, affect you uh, in positive or negative, maybe because there was not just positive things in this forum, unfortunately. Uh, so what is that one thing that you would like to talk to us uh, about? Maybe if I can start with uh, Elijah, what is that one thing? Okay, um, first of all, um, when I first heard about um, the Creative Society, uh, I was just, you know, going through my phone and it popped up. I heard about the Creative Society. I came across the Creative Society. So I was like, oh, from the name Creative Society. Okay, let me check out what is creative about this society. I clicked on the link and then... Um, I read about the Creative Society and I got to know that it has eight pillars. And these eight pillars captured my attention. It talked about the human life, human freedom, human safety, transparency and openness of information to all, creative ideology, development of personality, justice and equality, and self-governing society. So, you know, comparing this to my own personal um, vision, my vision as an educator is to one day live in a world that is free of hunger, disease, and war, and that every individual will have the opportunity to attain um, the eighth class of the creative society with my goal. I feel that we have something in common. And that is what really motivated me into being a part of the creative society so that we can, you know, come together, work together as a team, you know, to make the world a better place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Elijah, for your for your comments. And indeed, you've described the Creative Society very well, uh, which was the uh, which is si simply the, the solution to um, to the situation for the crisis that we are uh, currently living in. 
and it was a, a big part of this forum that has been um, made. Um, same question for you, Para. Um, what would be the one thing maybe that you get out of from this forum, helping translating this forum, being part of the preparation? Um, can you tell us more about what you got out of it? Mm -hmm. Actually, thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, basically, when I came to Dubai, I think things from the October, I just came to Dubai from Sri Lanka. And then one day I got a message about the society. And it's from actually from Australia, then, but we just met up and I just go on through these details and everything. Mostly, I just got eye catching thing is figuring about the, that uh, worldwide passport. Right? This is the first idea. I just thought, what is this then? I just want to see this, what is happening. Then uh, we just had the meeting. The 19th day is the most memorable day, actually. That day, I feel the whole world in one table because it's UAE in the UAE team is when you come to the UAE team, you will see all the people are there because we are from the different nationalities and uh, but, uh, Shaggy was in, introducing the Russia uh, and America the, 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 the other thing is that uh, then India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan a lot of people are there then I feel actually there's something then I just go through this and just helping this and finally, I feel it that according to my religions and in my country and everything, it's gathered. And this is the future, actually, what we need. And people have a lot of things to say about the creative society. People will definitely join of this. And all the people in this world, now I feel already fed up. Then they need some something good, something unique and something inside their heart and uh, people need to do something for the future because we have to release our ego here then we will find definitely find out from the creative society humanity we can find out the human people we can find it i think that is why i really joined this and i willing to do everything for this and there always Thank you so much, Parakrama. Thank you, Elijah. You know, guys, uh, I know that you were simultaneously interpreting the forum, and I'm also a part from the team uh, of simultaneous interpreters, and I know how hard it is. So my question would be to you, what actually inspired you? What helped you to keep on going? Why do you think uh, it is so important to actually spread this information, the information about the climate situation on the planet right now, the information about the way out, the actual way out of all these crises, just like you said, Para. Right now, people are all fed up of the consumeristic way of living that we still keep supporting for some reason, right? So what actually helped you guys personally to make a decision, firm decision, to just get up, start doing the translations, start doing the interpretations, and start actually passing this information further and further? Why do you think it is so important to spread it all over the world, in your nationalities, in your countries, and other countries as well? So, Elijah, maybe we can start with you and then move on to Para. All right. Um, thank you so much. Um, well, um, personally, I, I love to grow, you know, and develop myself both personally and professionally. And I do those things I enjoy doing, you know, because it helps me. Whenever I do something that I love doing, it helps me to build myself. It helps me to grow both personally and professionally. Um, before now, I have volunteered in so many other positions from various organizations. Presently, um, I'm volunteering for the Teach for Nigeria, and it's a two-year fellowship program, uh, mostly volunteering a volunteering program. So also, I'm volunteering for um, I'm a freelancer at um, um, uh, Selective Marketplace. It's an online market store where we, you know, help artisans, you know, to market their products. So, and these are things that I do freely. Uh, I do it freely, willingly, at my own convenience. So I just try to do something that will help me to build myself and then I can grow. So when I came across the opportunity of volunteering as a translator, it was um, um, Olga, 
who posted it in the WhatsApp group. And when I saw it, they needed um, volunteers who would, you know, translate and interpret. And I was like, oh, okay, I've not done it before. This, that will be my first time. Okay, I think I'm interested in this. And immediately I notified her and she reached out to me, connected me to the right um, team, those in charge. I, I was connected with uh, Vaclav. So Vaclav helped me set up my team speak. Um, what's his name again? Um, <laughs> I've forgotten his name. Dimitri, yeah, Dimitri. So Dimitri put me through, you know, we did so many testings and everything was good to go. And at first I was kind of nervous. It's my first time. This is not something I've done before. So um, Olga noticed I was nervous and she just encouraged me that, don't worry, you can do it. I believe in you. And that was, that alone, that motivated me. And, you know, I said, okay, I believed in myself that I can do it. I went on to do it and... To God be the glory, everything went well. Though it wasn't perfect, it my first time, but, you know, I was able to do the very best I could do for the very um, for the few hours I was online and active. I was able to give my best, and I came out more confident, and then I was proud of myself. And she herself, you know, thanked me, and the whole team was so happy with me. This is something I've not done before, because I believe that, this is an organization whereby we need to come together as a team, work together to make our world a better place so that we can live together in peace and harmony. You know, looking at the global crisis, everything that is happening, the world at large, you hear of earthquakes here and there, you know, facing so many challenges, economic challenges. You know, we need to come together to put a stop to all these things and, you know, we need to, you know, spread the word about creative society. Okay, the creative society, we need to tell our families, our friends, uh, everybody, let them know about the creative society, that we need to come together, work together as a team. Already we are meant to know that um, various scientists have come together, you know, done a research work of over 27 years, and they've come up with something positive. But we need to come together, unite together as a team. That is the only time we can achieve our aim, you know, making the world a better place for everybody to live in. And then the entire team was there to support me in every way they can, you know, and I was so grateful to them because without their support, honestly speaking, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So uh, I think I give the credit back to the entire team. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to, you know, be a part of the Creative Society and to, you know, play my own quota by volunteering to um, inter translate and interpret. Thank you so much. Oh, dear legend, thank you very much for sharing this amazing experience because I know that I, I know 100% that there are people over there that are still not participating in the projects and they hear thoughts in their head like, oh, I cannot do anything, I, I will not be able to contribute, or even if talking about interpretations, this is too hard, no, 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 I'm not going to do it because I will fail. And there you go, you're sharing your personal experience when this was the first time doing the translations, doing the interpretations, but there is such a huge, huge international team that is ready to support, ready to cheer you up, ready to help you and assist you, set up the technical side of the, of, of the process, right? And thank you very much. Thank you for sharing this experience. And I'm pretty sure it will inspire a lot of people to connect, to start doing the translations, interpretations, or, you know, participating in any other way, any other possible way so that a lot, uh, you know, as, as many people as possible could find out about the project, could find out about the way out of all these crises that we are facing. And yeah, Thank you very much for this inspiration. And right now the floor is goes to Para. Para, could you please share what helps you to keep on going, to do the interpretations, to, you know, just put aside some of uh, your things, some of your, like, I don't know, maybe family plans or uh, work things, right? And do the volunteering, do the interpretations. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, actually, I for this year, when I came to Dubai, I was free because my family is in Sri Lanka. Because of that, I'm free here, <laughs> right? And then uh, I got a good opportunity. Then I just helped with them. And I, in first meeting also, I just already give some ideas regarding about the TikToks and how we are going to promote in this stuff. 
and these are the these are the things it's small clips we have to go forward and then uh, because i have a marketing idea because i'm a marketing manager right then uh, i have some how to do this and how, how to arrange these those things i just wrap it and because of my past experience when i was in sri lanka and i'm and also i joined with the media sector uh, as an announcer of the radio stations and stuff right and then i just always try to convince them but i don't know why the always the media people doesn't help us we just try to convince them this is the thing this is the things what happening but not coming up then we feel what we have to do something then uh, that is why we just uh, i think uh, we go for tiktoks and all the that those things then luckily just there are some uh, i just give some promotion with the sri lankan lot of uh, uh, the body call that uh, you gayan and there's another kasun some people are there they have a team they just build up the team and they they just updating all the informations to this thing uh, main thing is in creative society what i feel was we want to give the information to the people what is happening and what is hiding from us actually the most dangerous thing is we are not talking about people doesn't like to hear the bad news they like to hear the good news but they don't know what is inside there actually they don't like to hear that that is little bit uh on sad thing but the people should we should uh, inform people this is the thing this is the environment things we are going to happen then we have to get together and gather is and face it in one hand we should get together and face it because that is the main important thing and uh, in future a lot of things will be changed i think in future a lot of will be changed that a lot of people will understand what is going on and at the moment i think there a lot of people just over it that because we just started from small crowd now i think we have a lot of billions of people they watching our videos and everything day by day people are collecting people are connecting and then i hope in future definitely there's a future but uh, for this again we have to another secondary plans also that means i'm telling about one people just we just talking about the uh, we can communicate with these computers and other stuff there are some people also they are they are not aware of these things in some country right then we have to go to that sector and we have to inform them also and i think this will be the second stage we have to go to them and beyond that not only from the net and other things beyond that we have to go we have to tell them and inform them this is the thing going to happen get together and they set up with us and two little 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 uh, sectors have to be joined this then nobody can stop right Well, thank you very much both of you because i can really feel this common uh topic in in your answers which is how everything operates in this uh creative society uh project um whoever wants to join can join whatever things you can do you will be able to do there is no pre requirement there is no skills or anything like that that is just needed the only thing that is needed is your willingness to just pick up Uh, an email address send a message send a telegram message and start doing something um and you really straight very much that uh idea of action it doesn't matter what it is but the action is the most important um elija you your 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 story sounds almost unusual to have somebody getting into a, a translation of a forum not having done at all before just randomly almost connecting with somebody from the other part of the world and just getting all the supports that you need but i'm telling you the audience here right now that is not unusual in the creative society i've been through exactly the same things myself you stole my story when i started the russo being part of this project and also translating as well in french for my part so that is just common sense within the creative society among the people who are working to support each other to help each other you also mentioned the eighth foundation of the creative society with the last one being self governance 
which is something that you can or we can or we are trying to imagine for the entire society. But even better than imagining it out of the blue, you can actually see it, this self-governance within the the project right now. It's self-governance, it's self-managed to be able to come up with a 12 hours forum translated in 150 languages with thousands of people working on it. Nobody is telling anybody else what to do. It's really organic, it's really self-sustainable. Uh, and that's a great illustration of what is already the creative society and what can be done with the people within it. So thank you very much because you are two great examples of people starting from different perspectives, from different backgrounds, but with the common willingness to act and to do something for humanity. So I will never stop saying again, thank you very much. Um, what other things that I would like to, to ask uh, for you that has been part of the forum and understanding all of the, all of the, all of the information that has been provided, um, maybe from your, um, own experience from the different country that you're coming from, um, what is the, the, the information and what is the way you think is the best to be able to touch people? Um, it's not easy. Uh, not everybody have access to the same um, media for the same information. So we have to be creative. So how is the best way for you, you think, to spread that information, to voice that information, for this information to be actually um, catched by people around you? As we know, we need to communicate that information to the entire planet. So uh, that's a quite relevant question, I believe. Can you answer to us or what is your way, what is your uh, ideas on how to spread that information? Yeah, thank you. Actually, uh, I was thinking Sri Lanka is most beautiful and the other thing is very small country, right? And then for my country, when you're going to promote it, it's, we can easily do it, but uh, we, it's, it's going with, actually we don't want that because a lot of things are there actually that in Sri Lanka sector is also health sector is free. A lot of sectors are actually at the moment free, right? And then uh, I think we can uh, give the information. We have given the information. It's it's thinking with our society. It's already thinking with our society because uh, that is why actually I just joined this because I'm a Buddhist and uh, according to my thing, it's already thinking everything, right? This is what we are talking about and. Best thing is people don't need a lot of things to live. People should understand that first. That we are thinking we need more things, more things. We have to do a lot of things, a lot of collections. And finally, we are not finding anything. Just only you need peace mind. That is very important. People just running. People running through the lot of items. People running for the money and people going through. The, but finally, you will lose a lot of things you don't know. The main thing is you should find your inner peace. Right? Then you will definitely find a lot of things. That is what people now, people just going for this era, this era. The people now thinking, people, that is why I'm telling people are fed up now. People need some freedom in mind. This, this is the unique thing now people thinking they need mind to get free. Then I think when from the, what we are, what we are talking about system, that system is uh, already there. The unique items is that already four days per day, work four days are we are working, and we have we are enough time with the family, and this all the things gather in this creative society. Then if you the eight pillars, if you study eight pillars, and if you go through these things, very easily give to the kind of that that translation, if you give it to the people, then people understand this very easily. Then I don't think uh, this is such a way we have to do, but only thing is just give the information on the correct way and people should educate it and what is this going on. Then I think it's very easy. No, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your opinion. And actually, thank you for being an example of such a person who actually, you know, feels and looks through you know, looks at this world through the paradigm of 
this inner peace and love towards other people, which actually probably helps you to keep on moving, keep on going, spreading the information, showing the example of the way that we can live all together in peace, harmony, friendship, and respect towards each other, right? And this is actually, I can say, a little bit contagious, right, in a good way, uh, because it, it inspires other people to do the same, and it inspires people to start exploring their inner self and exploring what they can do do for others, right? And for the benefit of all of us in general, not just for, let's say, me, myself, and my family, but for all people in the world. And I really love the, the phrase that Olga Schmidt mentioned in the uh, during the forum that only by improving the life of every person in society, you improve your life, the life of yourself. And this is actually, I guess, the slogan that we should take on and live by it because by assisting others we assist ourselves and we have elijah back with us elijah thank you so much for reconnecting jonathan could you please repeat the question yes thank yes, you so much so elijah what, what we wanted to know is uh, from your own perspective and from your own experience so far uh, spreading information about the creative society what is maybe the best way or the best ideas you think uh, you can have to to do that very um, action of spreading the information about the creative society about the way we can build our future okay thank you if i get you correctly you um asking me to share how i can you know spread the good news about the creative society is that what you're saying Yes, yes, the very good news about the Creative Society, the good news about the solution to our current crisis. What, what, what is the thing, or what will you put in place to do that very um, action of spreading the information? Okay, all right, thank you so much. Um, first of all, I apologize. You know, I'm having an um, unstable network connection, so... Um, but thank God I'm able to reconnect with Society is a call to action community of volunteers from all over the world. And um, uh, we've decided to come together, unite to make the world a better place for all of humanity. So uh, we have uh, volunteers all over the world, scientists, researchers who have done um, years of research, um, that have done research work for over 26 to 27 years. And um, regarding the global crisis, and um, found out that there is a way out. So, uh, but first we must come together, you know, unite. Um, uh, we must come together and then plan on how we are going to tackle what lies ahead of us. Because from the research, we are meant to understand that what we have faced in the past and what we are currently facing is nothing compared to what lies ahead. So now we need to work together in order to prevent it. And now there is a solution, but first we must, you know, come together unite and work together. And now, how, how can we come together? We must spread the good news about the Creative Society. Okay, this is what the Creative Society stands for. We are trying to make the world a better place for all of humanity. A world where there'll be no war, there'll be no crisis. A world where you have um, the freedom of choice. You say, this is what I want, and then you get it. We want a world whereby nobody will be able to decide for us and say, this is how it is, and nobody can question the authority. We want a world where we, we, when we want something, we say this is what we want, and then there is a platform for uh, you know making that come to reality. You go to the platform, you have the the right to vote, and your vote is counted. And then when you vote, and everybody supports your vote, everybody has a voice, everybody opinions, ideas matters a lot. You know, we work together, and then you get what you want. You decide for yourself that this is what I want. And you get it. So, looking at the kind, um, the plants in ground on ground for um, you know a, a creative world where everybody where you have that kind of world we've dreamed of, the kind of world we want to see, you know, the kind of um, technologies, you know, making life easy, nobody is in debt, you know, you have um, enough money, you you have good work, there, there are facilities put in place, you know, your health and everything. A world where, you know, it's just like living um, paradise on earth. So now, Creative Society has all these plants in ground, but we need to come together and we need to spread the word. 
spread it to our family, our friends, you know, via one-on-one -on -one conversation. You can uh, make use of your social media platforms, spread the good news all over, you know, so that everybody can come together and key into this vision of the creative society so that together we can, you know, work towards achieving our goal. And then at the end of the day, we get exactly what we want, which is a, a creative society, a society where we get everything. Nobody is superior, nobody is inferior. We are all one, we are united together in peace and in harmony. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And, you know, just like one of the speakers said during the forum that what actually separates us from the creative society is our uninformed neighbor, right? So I guess one of the best ways as well as, you know, um, I don't know, video recording for TikTok, for other social media, spreading the information on the Internet. Apart from that, one of the best ways is personal communication with your neighbors, with your friends, with your family members, with with the strangers on the street, right? Because as soon as we spread this information all over the world, the sooner we will have all the benefits that you, Elijah, just mentioned, that Pada was talking about. We will have the opportunity to, to live in an amazing world, paradise on earth, and we deserve it. We can have it and we can do it all together if we we unite, right? So um, right now, I would like to ask our technical support team to turn on one really important video. You know, this is my humble opinion. I think this is very important video about why do we need to unite? Why do we need to come together? Why do we need to open coordination centers that will help us to coordinate our efforts, coordinate all our knowledge base and all the people from all over the world to build the creative society all together? So uh, let's watch this short video and then come back to the discussion. Now that you've learned about the Creative Society and understand that, thanks to its implementation, we can first of all avoid all global climate catastrophes as humanity, and secondly, gain a life beyond our wildest dreams. This is free housing of a pretty decent size, an unconditional basic income of $10,000 a month plus free healthcare and new technologies that will be available to everyone. You'll be in perfect health and able to extend your life in a young, beautiful body. You'll be guaranteed safety and a peaceful life. Free education anywhere in the world. So you will have the opportunity to maximize your potential. Not to mention a vast array of prospects and possibilities for every single human being. Informational support for the Creative Society format is provided by a volunteer project of the same name, which is being actively implemented by volunteers from more than 180 countries around the world. Now, it's impossible to establish the Creative Society in one single country. It can only be implemented all over the world in a legal and peaceful way. This means that first of all, all people in the world must learn about the Creative Society and support it. This will lead to the creation of an electoral demand for its development. Therefore, the first and most important step in building the Creative Society is to share information with everyone about the existence of this format and the immense benefits it provides for every individual. Maximum activity and creativity from everyone are needed in this effort. Where should you start? You can tell about the Creative Society to your friends, family, and everyone around you. They, in turn, can inform everyone they know. The Creative Society should be known and discussed everywhere 
If you want to learn more about the Creative Society, your primary resources will be the creativesociety.com website, especially such sections as international forums and questions and answers. In the Act Now tab, you can learn about the effective ways of informing others and start applying it in practice. Informing a single person about the Creative Society already makes you a participant. By doing this simple action, you have joined the first and most crucial stage of building the Creative Society, the informational stage. This is a step to your bright future. Yes, it's that simple. There are no fancy badges with titles, no lists of volunteers, no membership fees, and no exploitation of each other for personal gain. The Creative Society is not a commercial project. Nobody profits from it, and no one benefits in someone else's expense. People from all over the planet come together to build a society based on one simple principle. Only by improving life for the entire society can you improve it for yourself. This is the main principle of the Creative Society format, which guarantees benefits for everyone. The project's implementation relies solely on the goodwill and initiative of the people. Even one person can do a lot to build the Creative Society, and by uniting, more can be accomplished in less time. When we coordinate our actions, our abilities to inform others multiplies. Do you want to inform others about the Creative Society quickly and effectively so that it can be implemented sooner? Join forces with others around you, neighbors, friends, relatives, and co-workers to establish Creative Society coordination centers. Your coordination center will be a community of like-minded individuals who also endorse the Creative Society. It will serve as a hub for people of your building, street, neighborhood, and city who take action on a volunteer basis, taking into account local legislation. If there is no coordination center in your vicinity, that needs to be fixed. Waste no time, inform your neighbors, find like-minded people, and create your own volunteer coordination centers. What do you need to create a coordination center? Opening one is simple, and anyone can do it. First, you should inform the main coordination center about your decision through the official email on the creativesociety.com website. Then, by joint efforts with others, do everything possible within the framework of the law to inform even more people about the Creative Society. You, the people, are the center of coordination. You can gather in person or virtually. You don't even need to be in the same place as other participants. You can organize your own communication through a chat on any convenient social network. Meetings and coordination can take place online using audio and video calls. The main thing is the coordination of your actions, which means a joint agreement on how you will organize the information sharing process. If you create a coordination center, it means that you are making a platform where you can communicate, coordinate your actions to inform people about the Creative Society in your region or city, hold conference calls, plan meetings, discuss results, distribute tasks among yourselves, brainstorm, and look for new approaches. If you have any ideas, you can bring it to a general conference call or meeting and discuss it together on how to implement it. For example, together you can print car stickers, put the logo on clothing and products, arrange for advertising in public places, and much more. You can download the designs for free from the creativesociety.com website. By coordinating your efforts, you can inform and engage your immediate surroundings and even entire communities, groups, organizations, districts, cities, internet resources, and local media, telling them about the Creative Society. Don't limit yourself. If you want to, you can inform your entire country 
and even your neighboring countries. You can organize coordination centers based not only on where you live, but also on your sphere of interests, including various lifestyle communities, sport clubs, business networks, etc. You can also interact with other coordination centers from different cities, countries, and the entire planet joining in a virtual format of coordination. The Creative Society is a union of all humanity. All organizations, all people, all those who want to live in the Creative Society and all those who understand the doom of the current consumer format are welcome here. The Creative Society is beneficial to absolutely everyone. How do we know that the first informational stage of building the Creative Society is complete and we can begin the second stage, which is political stage? Imagine that you are walking through a city and you see the logo of the Creative Society everywhere and all the people around you are talking about the Creative Society. All the social networks are filled with information about the Creative Society. It's becoming mainstream. When your whole city and your entire country know and support the building of the Creative Society, it means that most of the citizens of the country have formed their electoral request to politicians for the formation of the Creative Society. In this way, we move on to the next stage, political. At this stage, we have a new responsibility and task to vote in our country for those politicians who support the development of the Creative Society and pledge to introduce the eight pillars into the country's constitution. In addition, we need to legitimize the electoral platform as the highest body of legislative power. The electoral platform will be how the society will be self-governed. Every person will be able to control and recall politicians and vote for or against specific laws. This resource will be publicly available, transparent and protected by the most advanced technologies. Through the electoral platform, power is effectively returned to the people. It returns to each and every one of you. Implementing the Creative Society is an entirely new approach without any revolutions and everything happens within the legislative framework of each country. Thanks to this, we can peacefully transition from the consumerist to the creative format through an evolutionary path. We can not only save our lives and the lives of all humanity, but also open up opportunities and perspectives that we never even dreamed of. The Creative Society is a unique format that can solve all modern problems and crises. Never before in the history of humanity has anything like this been attempted. Its implementation depends on each of us. So act now. Do not wait for someone else to make your life better. Act now if you want to live the way you always desired. Act now if you want to live in a free, secure, and prosperous creative society. Great, such a, such an informative video. Um, at the end, a lot needs to be done. That's obvious from this video, but that gave also a sense of very well organized uh, movement, like everything is accessible. A lot of things has been um, shown in this video as you need it, you will get it. Somebody will help you to get it, or it will be very easy to you, for you to get it. So there is no obstacle, once again, to stop you from acting. Only your willingness is important to have as a starting point, and all of the tools, all of the gears will be provided to you. And you can also be the one creating news, creating new ways and new uh, uh, new ways to, to communicate with people. So very inspiring video and hopefully our uh, viewers will see that it's not, it's, it's not hard 
to get into the creative society and to start being an active participant. It's very simple. For sure it is. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And, you know, the fact that you as a person, you as a human being, you matter. And this is probably something that each and every person in the world wants to hear, wants to feel, because this is something that gives you this feeling of the fact that you are not left over you're not uh, the one that doesn't matter you matter guys and this is something that creative society provides to you this amazing feeling that there is something in this world that depends on you on your actions on your sincere desire to contribute to society and um, my next question to our amazing guests would be guys what would you suggest to those people over there who have probably heard once or twice about the creative society they think that okay maybe it's something interesting maybe not right what would your suggestion be to them to start acting to start participating in the project to actually start taking back the control of their life right and start doing something good for others so maybe elijah we can start with you okay <laughs> All right, so um, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. It was such an um, inspiring video. And uh, from that video, it's very obvious that we have a long way to go. But if we come together and work together as a team, without minding who gets the um, credit, it's, it's just amazing how much we can achieve within a very short time. So we just need to come together and work together so that we can achieve this goal. And um, well, my message to those who are out there, who have heard about it and who are yet to register, like um, I have a friend, a colleague, we work together. So I was talking to her uh, about the Creative Society, like come and join this um, society. Let's, I just told her about this um, society. I tried to, you know, give her a debrief of what this um, Creative Society is all about. Um, introducing her to the eight pillars and just citing examples of the kind of what we deserve for ourselves. And she was like, what are they going to give me? Are they going to give me a job? And so I, I just gave her a quote, um, according to um, um, uh, former U.S. President um, John Kennedy, he said something, he said, it's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So I just realized that it's not about what the creative society can do for you, but what can you do as an individual to the creative society so that together we can make the world a better place. So um, it's not what we want to gain. Yes, it's all about making the world a better place, not just for us or our children, but for the generations to come. You know, setting the platform, making the world a better place for them to come. And even after we are gone, we, you know, we've left that, we'll leave that legacy so that they will come and enjoy and continue enjoying what the creative society has set on ground. So um, my advice to those uh, um, maybe who have heard about it and they are yet to act, uh, I I'll just advise that they should try. You bring you bring my best, and this other person brings his or her best. By the time we combine it together, it will be very easy. The workload will be reduced, the stress. Before you know, we'll accomplish a great deal of achievement. So um, to those who have heard about it and are here to take action, uh, my plea to you is that you should just try, join the Creative Society, visit um, the creativesociety.com, register and try to do whatever you can do. You can volunteer, whatever skills and talents you have, you can use it for the Creative Society so that together we can achieve it. Then to those who, are, um, who haven't heard about it, I believe it is our duty to reach out to them using our social media platforms, one-on-one um, -on -one discussions, organizing seminars, conferences, you know, just like um, the video we watched just now, talking about um, opening a coordination um, center, you know, you can start it. So I noted some things down, so, and um, by God's grace, I'm going to work towards it so that, you know, people around me, my close friends, my colleagues in the place of work, uh, I'll try to organize a seminar and then, tell them what the creative society is all about and if i need support i could definitely reach out to my team um Olga and the rest and i believe that they can help me organize and then we'll know able to reach out to them and 
that is uh, my message and i believe that together if we come together to join this creative society definitely live the kind of life we hope for the kind of the big dreams we have we we'll definitely get free access to healthcare, free education you can school anywhere you want in the world you can travel all over the world without um, restrictions and stuff like that so please just visit creative society.com and then join this uh, amazing um, organization this amazing society and together we'll make the world a better place thank you thank, thank you, you so much elijah I have to say, I really like this phrase that you just said, that you're doing things not because of what you expect, but from what you can give. Uh, so many people in their life might feel like, what is my purpose? What am I even here? Um, I, I have nothing to offer or I cannot do anything because they put so much expectation or so much pressure on themselves. I think it's been clear in this discussion that anybody can be part of the creative society. Anybody can be part of the creation of a better future for humanity. So everybody can be big, part of something much bigger than themselves. Having this inner motivation, being part of something like this, it's everybody's goal in life. Or you really don't feel that you want to achieve anything and then you just sit there on your couch and you're waiting the, pass, the time to pass. But I'm sure that there is a vast, vast, vast majority of people who are actually still wondering, what can I do to make my life worth it? What can I do to make my life like being able to uh, stand in the morning and just being driven by a great things? And the creative society is definitely this. The goal is noble for the entire humanity. And, and, and that's just, once again, very easy to get into it. And our examples today of our guests are very uh very uh very uh easy to 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 understand that so thank you very much for this uh for this answer and i will ask the same question for you para what would you say to people who have been maybe watching heard about the creative society but not still haven't done anything about it haven't passed the cap of okay acting on it what would you say to them uh actually i was i was i'm going to tell you some different thing i think right and uh, the thing is that uh, when we going to give this message to someone, because I have experience here in the Dubai, uh, we, we have different communities, right? Then we just uh, blend with them. And sometimes when we're going to give this information to the people, the people think, oh, what is this? What is behind this? What is this society? And people just asking questions, some lot of questions. Right. Then one first first thing is uh, we should give them information. There are different different categories are there. Actually, that uh, my mind level will be different. Another mind level will be different. School boy is different. The girl is different. The different different uh, that the mindsets are there. Then when we are going to give them the information, we have to think first how we are going to give it because it's very important. Because otherwise we will lose our content it's because it's, it's very important because there some people will think about their religionic thing right then they don't like to come come in then we just have to think uh, synchronize with them and talk with them first then we have to give the information first. because otherwise we will get 10 we will lose nine right? because people most of people are not reading all the story they just they just listening listening and then just gone then we have to implement them on the proper way and we have to give them first we have to give them a card this is the card first read and first check then get his idea then again we have to implement him this is the thing this is the thing you can join us you can do with us this thing and we can go forward like this then people will gather if we if they don't know and if they know little, the dangerous is in them. Then they say no more, then definitely they will move it up. I think that is the best way. And the other thing is we have to, uh, we, sometimes if I'm talking with my friends, what is this? I don't like, I don't know, no, I, I'm, I'm not believing. I don't like, I don't think this will be happen. They, they're not thinking something like that, some people. 
But some people, wow, it's great, it's a great idea. It's, it's different. Then we have to give them to the think. Think first and think what is happening. And according to their sectors, if, if it is a teacher, he's thinking different way. If it's an engineer, he's thinking of a different way. Then according to those their sectors, they are thinking. Then we according to that, we have to manipulate this all the information and give to them. Then they are already there, then they are coming. And I just want to give you some one information that just share this my one thing. Yeah, is it okay? Is it okay? I think uh, when I came here, when I joined here, the my computer that my computer was set up by uh, Levisky. He's in uh, Ukraine. He just set up my team speaker from his uh, in Ukraine there in Creative Society. Then uh, he was think one time he just gone that system was gone he didn't come and I just asked this kid, what happened I didn't my idea what happened to you you know what is his question he said para there was a shell get down to my next house my power was cut off in that critical situation he's making my computer from the Ukraine to do the creative society platform. Then we should understand this kind of a situation also happening in the world. And these kind of a people also helping for the creative society. Right? Their war is there. And a lot of people having only the fun here. But we just talk about this society. We want to release the world and everything. We just go for a good society in future. That is should be the future. People doesn't think about war and anything. People need nice place to live. Thank you. Thank you so much. And indeed, I also get very inspired by stories of our participants from different countries that are right now undergoing critical situations, dangerous situations for their lives. And it's not only Ukraine, but some other countries as well. But they are like true heroes, you know, who are forgetting about everything just to make this done, just to make this job done, to help other people, to help spread the information further, to help the Creative Society project to develop, to grow, and to make this information go further and further and further so that as more people, as many people as possible could find out about it, could join in and could actually start making a change, making a change in their lives, making a change on the global scale in the life of our humanity. Thank you so much, dear friends. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for sharing your opinions, your ideas, your thoughts about the topics that were raised during the forum, Global Crisis, There is the Way Out, about the things that we can do all together to make this happen, to bring the creative society as soon as possible to build it all together and to finally start living like human beings, start living in a comfortable world with decent conditions, with everything that is necessary for us, and to finally build a world where human life, human safety, and everything that is necessary for us to flourish, to prosper, would be the main value over anything else. So one more time, thank you very much for joining in. I would like to address right now to our dear viewers, please, friends, if you're still doubting, if you're having questions, if you just heard, happened to hear about the Creative Society right now today during this conversation, during this discussion, Please don't wait any longer. Ask your questions. Write to us in our email. Write comments. You know, try to figure out what the Creative Society is about. And we are here to gladly help you to do so and start to join in, you know, start building this amazing world together with us. Because who is going to do if not us? This is our responsibility to pass a better world to our children, to pass a better world to our future generations to come. And this is our responsibility for today, for tomorrow, and for the coming years. Thank you very much, everyone. I would like to pass the floor to Jonathan. Maybe you have a couple of words like for the conclusion to say and to address to everyone else. Thank you, Kane. Um, yeah, I mean, not that there is much more that I can say. You've said very well and uh, worded very well. What I would like to do 
again, it's to thank our two guests today that has been illustrating what it is to be a participant of the creative society, what it takes, but how much reward can we get from it? Not that they are doing it for the reward, for the prestige or anything like that, but by doing something good for others, for sure things good are coming back to us. And I wish that everybody could feel that, everybody could experience that. And I'm telling this again, this is for everybody. Everybody can join and everybody can have that feeling of contribution for the greater future of society. So please do not hesitate, act. Don't put this for tomorrow's to-do list. It is, it is now that you need to do. It is now that you need to act. So please go ahead. Thank you very much and looking forward to see you into a next international discussion very soon.